This is the Domino's Post Game Report. Adam Cavalier alongside Carson Newman Head at men's basketball coach Chuck Benson. Chuck found yourselves down 21 at one point, but fought tooth and nail to get back into things. Made, a, made it a five-point game before the Royals rattled off an 11-0 run to kind of push it back beyond reach. How do you sum up this game with the number two team in the country? Well, I think our guys uh, learned a valuable lesson tonight from the standpoint. When you're playing uh, elite teams, elite competition, you have, to, you have to be locked in for 40 minutes. And I felt like we started the game really, really locked in. Uh, I don't think they were as – I don't think Queens, for that matter, really, really was. I think they, they sort of came in and sort of warmed up, so to speak. But by the five-minute mark, um, <clears throat> we had sort of, um, inst instead of keeping our, 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 our tone uh, at a certain level, we relaxed. We relaxed a little bit. And that, that sort of inspired Queens for the remainder of the first half. So, you know, I thought, we, I thought we threw a really good first punch. And I was really telling the guys in that first meeting, man, I like where we're at. Great job. We got, we got some of our defensive goals met. And then, uh, you know, we make a substitution, that first big substitution that we make, and just uh, turn the ball over, not rebounding it, um, giving up multiple, you know, scores in a row. And, and, and all of a sudden, then you go from feeling really good to, 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 to not having the poise, at least for the remainder of the first half, to, to do the things that we can do to control our controllables, as we like to say. Uh, and that, that was sort of set us on a pattern. I thought the second half we came out with – a much more intentional, uh, focused, poised, um, controlling of our controllables approach, and played a better half. But we just we, we were too immature. Too, I'm really disappointed in that. Just but too immature in, in the way we handled this kind of uh, this kind of scenario tonight. First time that you allow an opponent to shoot 55 percent uh, on you since you faced Queens and Holt Fieldhouse uh, last year. Felt like last season against the Royals, they couldn't miss. Uh, uh, good balance and scoring effort for Queens. What did they do to get especially some looks inside, give up 52 points in the paint most that you've allowed this well, season? Well, again, Kat, you know, it, it's, it's ironic, man, because I, I, I know we spent a great deal of time in preparation. I thought we had really, really good practices. We did. It's not a, we did have really good practices. We had good preparation. But then it's upon the players then to execute. You've got to go out there and then do what you've worked on. And for whatever reason, we had way too much game slippage, way too much game slippage. Uh, especially that first half. And, uh, you know, we just dug ourselves a hole that against a team like Queens that's, that's, that's this good, it's almost impossible to get out of it. And yet you still <coughs> fought tooth and nail to get out of it. What happened that enabled you to roll off a little 17-4 run to make it a five-point game? Oh, it just encouraged the guys, man, to, 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 to lock in and, and, and take care of the things that we know we're supposed to be taking care of. Uh, let's not overlook anything. Let's not, take, let's not think that this box out – is it, 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 it's not it's just life and death critical, you know, as an example. And, and I thought that they, they did a better job for a longer, more extended period of time in the second half. Um, you know, I, as you and I have talked going into this game, they're, they're legit. They're really, really good. And so I don't want to take anything away from them. But I do believe, you know, that we could have, we could have had a much better performance had we controlled the things that we had control over. And that's what's frustrating to me because um, – in, 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 in nine of our first ten games, I thought we did that at a very, very high rate. Mm -hmm. At Newberry, I thought we – very similar to this, ironically. We did not control those things that we could have been controlling. And I heard our kids talking about it, both at the half and after the game. I heard them over talking, you know, uh, I heard them talking amongst themselves that, that they realized what the problem was. And uh, that's just something that, as of December 13th, we've got to learn from. And as we continue to move forward in this season, got to uh, improve upon. And obviously we'll play them again this year. And, and hopefully that, that next time around we'll be – a more improved team that can handle the scenarios we face. How much did rebounding <coughs> play into this game? They have 11 offensive boards and score off of nine of them. I think they were a plus 12 rebound margin. I think that's right. Yeah. Uh, what are we, a plus six? Yeah. Uh, and, and they end up being a plus, plus uh, six today. Plus six today. So, again, they're, they're, they're tough to rebound the ball. They, they, they do a good job with it, you know. Um, and the truth of the matter is, you know, you, you watch us play, so, you know, we, we, we don't send a lot of people to the offensive glass. We would prefer to get back in defensive mm -hmm. transition. So, they say, you know, we're, we don't get a whole lot of offensive rebounds because we sort of, quote, concede that a little bit. Uh, they don't necessarily take that approach. They send a lot of guys. So uh, just strategy sort of plays in there a little bit. So they're going to they're gonna rebound the ball at a little bit different rate uh, than we would. But I thought, I thought you know, it, it obviously sort of – their numbers were lower. Our numbers were lower. 
um, and uh, you know I thought it was it was a bit of the bit of the deal, but I, I really think more more than anything uh, it was about us controlling those and, and, and a vast uh, just a variety of other controllable things that we let slide too much today. Turn your attention back to Holt Fieldhouse. You welcome in Lenore Ryan and Limestone before you head to Christmas. What do you have to do to close out the first uh, semester on two positive notes? Well, uh, good thing about it is finals are, are, are just about over. Uh, I think tomorrow's our last day of that, and, and I know our guys, once that will be over, there will be a lot of pressure off of them. Um, so we got to deal with that, and then um, – We'll turn our attention, even tonight, going back uh, on Little Ryan and trying to be prepared. It's our last conference game before the break. Uh, and they're a team that, that uh, we split with last year. Uh, they've, they've improved the, their, their roster some going into this season. And it'll be a tough one. They, 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 they have a unique style on both sides of the ball. Uh, they got a really, really good uh, post presence. So it'll, it'll be a challenge. But uh, I think our guys will be, uh, you know, this, this upset or this, this loss will upset them. And I think we'll be locked in come Saturday. Chuck, pleasure as always. We'll talk to you Saturday. Thanks, Cap.